St Peter's Hospice is a charity which cares for adults with life-limiting conditions and their important work continues throughout the COVID-19 crisis. We've gone through what feels like four years of change in about two weeks. Um, our community teams, our community nurses, our hospice at home teams, they've gone from being geographically based. So we used to divide Bristol up into four teams. They've gone to being one single team, um, now prioritising across um, the city um, on the basis of need rather than geography, um, which is which is great. Um, we've put in um, new procedures around protective equipment. In the inpatient unit, 15 bed inpatient unit at Brentry, that's still functioning. We've had to restrict, sadly, it's a really difficult balance having to restrict the patient's visitors. And um, we still are allowing a couple of visitors, but we've had to restrict that from the normal free flow and um, that's still functioning well. And then we have our 24 seven advice line, uh, which provides advice to um, paramedics, doctors, GPs um, uh, on end of life, and that's functioning um, as normal. It's a real challenge for us, Jamie, to be perfectly honest. The, the charity shops, 51 of them are closed. That brought that income to a, a complete stop. All the events, we had the Tour of Bristol that was going to run, that had to be postponed. Um, and it is just over 20,000 a day um, to run to run the enterprise. Um, at the moment, we're working on cash reserves. Uh, the local Bristol Clinical Commissioning Group, the NHS group that, that commissions some of our services, I have to say they've been really good. And we're working really closely with them around how they can support us. Uh, but we're also supporting Hospice UK, which is our umbrella body, who are negotiating with central government. So we're, we're working on cash reserves at the moment, but we're hopeful for support.